Hi, I'm Rachel. Welcome to my channel. I do what's for dinner videos and if you watch my videos every week then you know that I missed last week but I am here today with what my family had for dinner over the last two weeks. Let's jump right in with the first meal which is kind of like a bacon mushroom alfredo. I'm just boiling up some spaghetti. I made some frozen garlic bread and then I just used a little bit of this garlic alfredo sauce along with some other fresh ingredients. I sauteed up some garlic, some bacon, and some mushrooms along with some onions. Here is a look at that crispy bacon and I just added my cooked spaghetti noodles right into the pan and then I just use a tiny bit of that sauce in a jar with some half and half so thinned it way down because I don't actually love <laughs> jarred alfredo sauce but in a pinch when you want to do something really quickly um, for dinner it'll do so here I just mixed in some Parmesan cheese and this is what was for dinner on that night and then we're gonna move right along to the next night's dinner which was meatloaf and I just have a couple pounds of ground beef in a bowl I added some seasoned breadcrumbs and a couple of cracked eggs and I did pour in a little bit of milk to add a little bit of moisture to those breadcrumbs, some salt and some minced garlic. I am using almond milk this time because I had so much of it in the fridge for the grandkids and I just wanted to use it up. And after I got that meat mixture all mixed up with my hands, I just added it to a loaf pan. I'm actually doing two meat loaves on this night. So um, off camera, I prepared two pans of meatloaf covered with foil, popped them in the oven for about an hour covered, and then I drained off some of the grease and then added a can of cream of mushroom soup to the top of both of those loaf pans and then put them back in the oven to I love a meatloaf with the traditional ketchup or barbecue sauce on top, but this is the only way that my family will eat it, so this is how I make it. I just cooked up some canned corn and some instant mashed potatoes to go along with the meatloaf. And if it looks like I'm pointing and talking, it's because I planned on uh, just recording and uh, walking through the video but I did end up coming back and doing a voiceover just because with so many meals to show you this video was pretty long so I needed to edit it down quite a bit and here I am just getting some crescent rolls going and we're gonna have those along with our dinner we were having some pretty mild weather on this day, so I took advantage of it and fired up the oven for dinner. We've been kind of going back and forth with cooler days and scorching hot days. So there are some days that you will not see me making dinner at all. Absolutely refuse to cook when it is like close to 100 degrees. So here I am just putting my plate together and this was actually a pretty simple dinner. And yes, I know my potatoes were a little on the thin side. I actually made them that way on purpose. So tell me, are you ready for fall yet? I came home in such a fall mood. I guess maybe the rainy, dreary weather up north kind of got me going. <laughs> but I just put up a candle um, from the Target dollar spot. I don't know, I guess maybe it goes over a candle, I'm not sure, but I think it's pretty. Um, and then I just found this candle down in my um, fall decorations, which I'm not bringing all of my fall decor up this year, but this one says top turkey to me. But I'm just gonna turn it around until it's closer to Thanksgiving. There we go. And I had to go and get my coffee cup and put it up on the shelf. This is how I'm doing my coffee bar these days just have my shelves up here and just put my most used cups up there instead of like having a whole themed um, thing going on. I have my little spoon rest out here to hold my frother, some cinnamon, all of my teas are in this acorn. This is also from Tala, uh, Target Dollar Spot. Um, this is what I used to keep my computer monitor on at work. I have two of these 
as you can see, it has the little cutouts for like phones and paper clips and whatever, but it works well out here. Underneath there, I have my Alexa. Oops, there's some crumbs on the counter here. And this is all in my dining room. And so like over here, I just have um, my menu, <laughs> which I was just being funny, but I'm gonna change it all over to be like beverage um, themed. And my basket with my coffee, I just have a bowl that I keep my filters in. Kind of thought that maybe I would put some fall flowers or something down in there. I don't know for sure. But my decor is kind of on the fall side anyway. So this is what um, my normal everyday stuff looks like. Besides the uh, acorn, the pumpkin, and the candle. And then these two little... Uh, pumpkins up here which again are target dollar spot because I am just cheap but I um, love owls so there's always owls all over my house so they are kind of fall and woodsy and that is pretty much it and then I just um, got out some sunflowers and put them in my bowl here in the hutch and uh, just this wreath that I usually have out around fall and then just added some berry twigs in my little basket again those came from uh, the Target dollar spot um, the everything else was probably thrifted from Salvation Army <laughs> and then those two circular tray things that I hung on the wall are from Dollar General but that is it for fall this uh, this year. I'm not going to do a whole lot. I'm going to probably get some pumpkins for our front porch. And that's going to be it. Just keeping it simple. The next meal is a really simple crock pot dinner using some frozen meatballs, um, some jarred marinara sauce, and some uh, frozen tortellini. I'm adding some chopped up onions as well, and then a can of petite diced tomatoes. And I don't know what I was thinking at first, but I put two bags of meatballs into my crock pot, not even thinking. <laughs> but um, I'm adding some Italian seasoning and some minced garlic. I let those meatballs cook for a while and then removed uh, some of them into a freezer bag. I let them cool down and then I just froze them for another day. So no big deal there. I did add my tortellini in and then let it um, sit in that warm crock pot for a while before coming back again, adding about a half of a small container of ricotta cheese just making it as cheesy as I possibly could get it. And then because I didn't really have much um, shredded cheese on hand, I'm just adding what I had in my fridge, which was a little bit of cheddar cheese, and then some of this Carolina Reaper cheese, which we really do like. It is spicy, so I wouldn't uh, serve it like that for young uh, children or people who do not like spicy food but we do and then I just had some bread and butter along with it and that was our dinner on this night. The next dinner is also a crock pot meal. This is more of a dump and go type of crock pot dinner. I just have some uh, boneless skinless chicken breast in my crock pot and I'm adding three different cream of soups. Cream of celery, cream of chicken, and cream of mushroom. I have two packets of chicken gravy that I'm adding in as well. And I just stir that all in with that soup mixture. I have a little bit of minced garlic in my my little jar here so I just filled it with some water and got all of those little bits out and then just added that right into the pot to mix in with that gravy mix in those soups so once I have that all mixed together then I just added about half of one of these small containers of sour cream mix all of that in as well and then I will come back with some 
cream cheese. I'm just using the stuff that's already whipped up so it's nice and soft. I got a few tablespoons of that and added it as well and stirred it in. And then I will come back again with some chopped up jalapeno peppers. I believe there was about two in this little bowl. These are from the garden and for some reason our jalapenos are not very spicy at all. And then I added almost a whole stick of butter. I did use this for something else so some of it was missing. And we just used those leftover mashed potatoes and spooned our chicken mixture right on top and served with some peas. The next day we just had breakfast for dinner and I don't have a video, just a picture, hash browns, sausage gravy and eggs. And so moving on to the following night we had another pasta dish. I don't know. Moving into fall, I feel like I just want to eat carbs, as many carbs as I can get. So lots of pasta has been um, on my menu, I guess. But I'm just cutting up this uh, piece of steak here into thin strips. And then I just browned it up in a frying pan with some olive oil and some steak seasoning. And then once I have that all browned through, then I just removed it onto a plate and then started to build up my sauce right in the same skillet. This is going to be almost a one pan meal other than the extra pot that I needed to use for the pasta. Don't look if you don't like butter, but I have a whole stick of butter and some garlic that I chopped up and I just got that going in the pan next. I'm using some dried parsley because that's what I had on hand. So I just threw that in the pan as well and then squeeze some lemon juice into the butter and garlic mixture. Stir it all around, get it heated through and then add back our cooked meat into the same skillet. And so on my other burner, my pasta was ready to go. So all I did was just kind of turn this around a little bit to get all of that meat coated in that buttery garlic sauce, and then started adding our cooked noodles. Once I get those noodles into the pan with that meat, I just give that all a stir, make sure it's all mixed up really good. This was really just a really good, flavorful meal. Everybody loved it. It was super easy. I did have to work on all of these days and so it was easy meals all week long. Just adding some Parmesan cheese. I did have an everything bagel with mine with some cream cheese and butter. Like I said, I just want all the carbs right now. Not sure why. Maybe the changing of the season. I don't know. But this was delicious. <music> The next couple of meals will really revolve around the tomatoes from our garden. On this night, we are having BLTs. I usually just do the bacon and the tomatoes on my sandwich. I don't really eat lettuce like that. So I am just going to toast up my bread and put some mayo on it add my bacon and my tomatoes. We cooked up some frozen french fries, just keeping it really easy. And that was pretty much it for dinner on this night. I love tomato sandwiches, like I don't even need the bacon. So that's why you see me piling on those tomatoes. <laughs> and that was just one of our easy meals this week. And then we're gonna move on to the next day where I'm making homemade salsa just to get those tomatoes used up, like I said. So I chopped up my onions in my food processor. Wasn't thinking that I could have just dropped these bell peppers right in through the little chute there on top of my food processor. So I do try to edit some of that out because I did open it every single time to add the next ingredient, which in this case is jalapenos. And then once I got those mixed in, I added my cut up tomatoes and gave it another spin in the food processor. And yes, I did make a huge mess, but that's all right. I added some fresh cilantro right on top, just kind of packed it in there, stuffing it in, and then I just spoon in a couple spoonfuls of minced garlic. And that is just basically how I like to have my salsa. I like it really thin and 
um, lots of cilantro. I did add some uh, salt to that as well. And here we go. It was really good and tasty. We enjoyed it with some chips and I did make up some taco meat as well and then just warmed up some of these medium size or small size flour tortillas and then I put some queso cheese on them and then stuffed my crunchy taco shells inside of that. I know that Taco Bell had um, something like this on their menu once upon a time. I don't know if they still do and I don't remember what it's called but I don't know. I must have had one at some point because it's what I wanted for dinner. And I just layered in all of my toppings, which was more tomatoes from the garden and a little tiny bit of lettuce because lettuce doesn't like me very much. But um, anyway, that was our dinner on this night. This one also came together pretty quickly. This day was Labor Day and we decided pretty last minute to get together to cook up some brats and hot dogs and swim. And the next day we kept it pretty simple. We did get some cooler weather and so I am just making up a quick uh, pan of Cajun chicken white chili. Wait a minute. Cajun white chicken chili. There we go. Maybe that's what it's called. I don't know. But I saw it somewhere, maybe on Pinterest. And then this is how I put mine together. I am not sure what the recipe um, actually called for, but this is just what um, I got from looking at it, the picture. And so I just uh, browned up my andouille sausage, some onions, some jalapenos from the garden. I did add a little bit of that leftover salsa that I made before. I had a rotisserie chicken that I just pick the meat off of and put into the pan as well. Added a couple cans of cannellini beans and just stir that all together. Let it get nice and warm. I did not drain my beans. I was in a rush to get dinner going and I wanted my chili to get thick. So I figured that starch from those beans would help that process out. I added some chicken broth and a couple spoonfuls of garlic. And then I came back in with some of this Creole seasoning and just kind of added as much as I thought we would like, which is pretty much a lot. Um, we like spicy food, like I always mention. I'm adding some sour cream and then just getting that stirred in. And this is where it starts to look more like white chicken chili. And this was super quick and super delicious. By the time it was all done cooking, we didn't have any leftovers this time. And that tells you how much everyone enjoyed it. We just served it up with some tortilla chips on the side, which we have on hand these days because we're making lots of salsa. It was kind of funny because while I was cooking, my son texted me and showed me that he was making chili and so was I. Our versions of chili were a little bit different, but we were both in the chili mood. And here I just am adding some sharp cheddar cheese to this as well. I like to add sharp cheddar cheese in my white chicken chili. I just think that it goes so well with it. And of course, I had to give it a taste and make sure that it was seasoned to our liking. And it was. So I'm just going to start bowling up. Is that spooning it up? Not bowling it up. Anyway getting it in my bowl so that we can get dinner going. And we like white chicken chili okay, but we really enjoyed the extra spicy kick from this recipe. So we'll definitely make this one again. And the last meal in this video is um, kind of like a copycat um, 
beef and cheddar from Arby's. I did get a recipe off of Pinterest for this and basically all I'm doing in my pan is adding some better than bouillon beef flavored and some water. Then I'm adding my packets of deli roast beef that I got in my Walmart order, which they substituted this brand. It's not what I ordered. I can't remember what I ordered, but this worked out just fine. It tasted really good. So it's good to know that and I can order that again. We are going to serve these up on some onion buns. I did toast them in my air fryer and I did attempt to make the red ranch sauce that was also in the um, recipe, which I will share with you. My battery died when I was making it, so we didn't get that on camera. And I made some mac and cheese. And then for the cheese sauce, he um, basically said all you do is take regular old American cheese slices, put them in your pan, and then add a little bit of cream or milk. I'm using some whole milk that my husband bought for the grandkids like they were going to actually <laughs> drink up a whole gallon of milk. So I'm just trying to use it up and that's why I used that. But this cheese sauce came together very quick and it was actually really tasty on the sandwich. So no fuss, not very complicated at all. I did have to reheat it a couple of times whenever we used it. Like here you see it kind of set up. So all I did was put it back on the stove, add a drop of milk <laughs> and then come back and spoon that onto each bun and then I just put my um, roast beef slices right on top of that and then came back with that red ranch sauce which I will let you know it does not taste exactly like Arby's but I did really like it and this sandwich overall was very delicious and I would make these again and probably use the same recipe because I don't think that I would even get remotely close to Arby's sauce but I steamed some or I cooked some broccoli in this container in the microwave and then when it was done I just added some butter put the lid on it and just let it melt and then we had some Kraft mac and cheese to go along with it. I was baby sitting on this night and my little grandson enjoyed this meal as well. And that's all for now. I thank you so much for stopping by and checking out what we're dishing up over here in our neck of the woods. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.